Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I'm just doodling, having a chat. This is my sit down, draw with me, create with me. I'm doing two things currently. Well, <laughs> three things if you count breathing. So, my allergies and my face. That's a long standing contention of nobody winning that battle. Um, but I'm trying to get to know these general chalk pencils a little bit better. I'm trying to work on some of my foreshortening skills where it looks like something is coming at you, therefore the thing closest to you is out of proportion. And I am using my oldest paper. So this is the Strathmore 400 series toned gray and it's spiral and I don't like spiral so much. The paper wiggles on me a lot, but I've had it since 2017 and I want to use it up. So that's what I'm doing. And I am using the color lavender and this is 4475. Um, in case you were curious and I will link products in the description box. If you are doing a no buy, I found a recipe on how to make sort of your own outdoor chalks. I'll link that if you're interested, but I am trying to draw a woman in a high heel shoe stomping her foot. And I found this reference photo on Pinterest. And I wish I could credit the photographer. I have been searching around and I can't find, it's from a Tumblr that's been blocked. So I don't know what's happened with that. Sometimes sites are deemed as dangerous pop-ups and stuff. So I'm just going to do my best here and tell you that there are some wonderful reference photos on Pinterest for trying to get out of your comfort zone and draw things that you don't typically draw but want to get better at. So that's all I'm doing right now. So for February, I just really want to, I've had these chalk pencils for over a year now and I've never done a drawing challenge with them. I've used them like just little bits here and there for mixed media stuff but I am determined to use my supplies <laughs> because um, I'm trying to think if at the end of this year, because I've done an inventory and by now everybody knows what I own and don't own of supplies. If there's a bunch of stuff I haven't used, do I then sort of pass it on to a creator I think may use it or do I keep it and try and use it later. Because at this point, I don't want extra shelves. Like that's not a thing I want to do. I like having only one shelving unit. And I know eventually my sketchbooks are going, my filled sketchbooks, especially if I continue <laughs> the rate at which I'm filling them. Um, eventually they're going to fill the whole shelf and I will need additional space and figure out a different solution for them. But I need to sort of make sure that I'm only keeping supplies I use. That's, that's what I want to do. I don't want to have stuff take up precious shelf space where it just, oh, this is something that I love and it looks cool. And I've always wanted to own it and have it and try it and try it, but I never really felt comfortable using it. So we're just, we're going to use up the things. That's what we're doing. And this already looks super wonky. So I definitely know I'm out of my comfort zone here, but that's okay. We, we learn more from <laughs> mistakes than we do from successes. Oh, it's so hard sometimes. And I don't like toned gray. So the reason I've had this sketch pad for so long is toned gray isn't my favorite. I really, really like, if we're going to do a colored substrate paper, I like really dark brown. The middle value range is okay, but I definitely prefer toned tan 
to tone gray. I think tone gray looks um, too cool. Like it's too cool of a color. It's just not warm enough and inviting. And I'm just not interested in it. So I need to use this sketch pad up because it's good paper. Strathmore makes excellent paper, especially their 400 series. It's very nice. And it's just one of those things that's personal preference. It's not anything else. I'm just not a fan of gray. And I bought them both because I thought, well, I don't know what I was thinking. Who knows what I was thinking? I was thinking I would use them both. That's probably what I was thinking. But they sat quite a while. And I have the most amount of toned gray paper left. So I definitely need to get on and... That's what I'm kind of doing with February is I'm just using things I hardly ever use. And I have some drawing inks. I have some Copic markers. I have some things I need to use this year or I'm just going to get rid of them. And I don't really want to get rid of them. It feels like such a waste of money. It's so hard to get rid of drawing supplies. Like that's one of the hardest things to, for me personally, to sort of justify decluttering because one they're expensive and two while the alcohol in Copic markers does eventually dry up they do make refills so it's not like you know maybe in five years I'll be in a different place in my life and I'll think oh yeah no shoot I wish I still had those I'm definitely in more of a marker mood but I've had my Copic markers for a few years. I only have 20 of them. It's not like I bought a whole set. And I don't typically buy super huge, the biggest sets of things. Um, like 30 or 40 of one thing is typically enough to get done all the things you want to get done for a drawing and creating. Like I find that 40 is probably more than enough. There's too many like duplicate colors with tints and shades that you can make yourself. And then if you limit the amount you have and not buy the full set, you can save your money and buy something else to complement that. Or more paper. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Don't take advice from me. I'm on a no buy. <laughs> oh, anyway, I can't believe how swollen my face is today. I like can barely breathe. <laughs> Breathing is so cool and I'm typically so good at it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite hobbies. <laughs> oh, that and like napping. Oh, I can nap like a champion. Anyways, not doing well in that sort of category either, but oh, I'm hoping. I'm hoping soon the rains come back and That'll kind of save my allergies in my face because I hate like not being able to breathe. <laughs> Boy, breathing is important. <laughs> that feels like, you know, <laughs> something that goes without saying. Oh, oh well. Let's try and figure out if I can do a small. And I'm trying to figure out like how small I can go with these pencils. It's been a challenge. And the other thing I really don't like drawing, like I have preferences of things I do and don't like drawing. One thing I've always struggled with is teeth. When I go to draw teeth, I don't know what it is. They look like dirty to me. And I just, I don't know. I definitely need to figure out what I'm doing with my life when it comes to teeth. I'm going to have to sharpen this pencil. Anyway, yeah, teeth are tough. I always like go back in, especially with like charcoals and stuff. If you're going to draw teeth. Oh, and these are so soft. They break when you sharpen them. I'll do a review on these, but I will only feel comfortable doing a full review. Um, after I use them for at least 30 days in a row, because I am noticing within these different colors. Some of these are way scratchier than others. So that's definitely going to be something I want to discuss and talk about. 
And for fine tip, I'm just using, boy, and I don't think I have a clean one. I've been using Q-tips <laughs> to sort of blend out. Oh, anyway, we'll just add a little carmine to the lavender just to soften it up a little bit. This isn't the darkest shade to get a huge range from, this lavender, so that's another challenge, but I'm kind of all in on the challenges today, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a wonderful evening, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.